What's up, Stream Geeks? This video is for those of you who do live streaming sports. Today, we've got a two laptop setup. Everything is NDI. Take a look, we've got one, two, three PTZ optics cameras being powered over a simple eight port PoE network switch. And then we've got two computers. It's a very simple IP network. Okay, on this computer, we are connected to each camera simply with a web browser. This is how we are toggling our auto tracking and controlling how we want our auto tracking framing to be. We've got the brand new Move 4K cameras, which allow us to do dynamic zoom. So we can have really nice tight auto tracking shots on each player that's playing, or we can do wide zoom out shots and have it automatically center or left or right justify the auto tracking. In fact, we were doing left justified auto tracking, meaning we were putting the player in the left side so that we could see the other player on the court. It's really interesting what you can do with auto tracking PTZ cameras. So we're checking out all of the settings here for auto tracking and enhancing. We're using vMix for the live streaming because during the games, we want to be able to live stream this for people to watch from uh, far away. We're doing a 1080p 60 frames per second on the recordings. And that's because this is fast movement. So we want to have 60 frames per second so we can really capture all of the fast movements. Now over here, what we're showing, this is another computer on the local area network. We are in the cloud. And what we're able to do is share access to all of the cameras with anyone we want. So I can just type the coach's name in here and literally put their email address in, send them access to this view. They can be anywhere in the world. All they need is a web browser and an internet connection. And then the coaches can choose which camera they want to look at because coaches often want to see different types of views you can see here watch this we can click exactly where we want the camera to go and it'll move right to where we choose so it's really really easy to control these cameras we can give the coaches remote camera control teammates different players they can view the cameras control the cameras and move them around as they need for their coaching setup. So this is a really cool setup. We're using PTZ Optics cameras, vMix for live streaming and recording, and then PTZ Optics Hive to connect the cameras to the cloud and send them everywhere. PTZ Optics Hive is completely free to use with just one camera, so you should give it a try. Even if you're using other PTZ cameras, it supports over 400 PTZ cameras and non-PTZ cameras. So any camera you can get connected to Hive, you can then share access with anyone in the world. So this is a really exciting case study. We'll show you guys some of the footage that we've captured in 1080p at 60 frames a second with auto tracking so that this is a really scalable solution. So people can use these cameras and kind of set and forget. It'll auto track whoever you want. Um, now this does feature the PTZ optics presenter lock. So you can choose exactly who you want the camera to auto track and it doesn't matter if other players are in view. So there is a little bit of setup just to choose the person you want to track the entire match. But other than that, it is auto magic and you can remotely manage all of this. So the admin in the tennis courts here can just sit at her desk, click the person she wants the uh, to cameras to track and then send access to whoever she needs to, to be able to view the cameras and review the sports footage. All right, let me know what you think about live streaming sports. And if you have any questions, we'll get back to you. All right, see you later. Bye.